Is everybody here? I'm here. Hello. Drew, are you here? Is the podcast ruined yet? Did we fuck up yet? No. Tori, are you no, here? No. Not. Tori? Tori? She's dead, Jim. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god. Fuck it. No, fuck, wait, fuck. We're doing this. We're doing, yes, we're doing this. this. Just do it already. Hello, everybody. We're, we are the Whip Your Dick Out cast. I'm your host, Black Dick 101. With me are my friends. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, guys. My name is Grunt OP, and sportsmanship is paramount to a clean and fair fight. And also, I am uh, I am death metal dick. Why don't you riff it? I'm just some asshole who's not going to go with the joke. Hi, you can call me Trody Arse Whooper. I'm not going to make a dick joke. I didn't make a dick joke either, so... God damn it. Guys, for all of these listening out there right now, we've done this. We've done this recording about three times trying to get the intro right. Troy I still won the first one. Troy fucked up the first time. Tori fucked up this time. And now she fucked up again. I'm sorry, guys. It's her fault, guys. But we're gonna she's go right with, there. I know she's right here. And then Sean fucked up too, but I'm making a dick joke. So, we got guys, we fucked up again. Oh, no, I gave up. I gave up. You gave up. I gave up too. I did. I didn't give up because I knew it would be hilarious. Oh. In the end. Yes. Well, today's just gonna be five of us because Colleen's at work. Everyone say hi to Colleen. Hi, Colleen. Hi. And I get to see her when she gets home. Yeah, and then we get to you guys to tell her what we talked about on the podcast because we can't because you can. So, I ain't doing it till the morning. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, guys, so last week was a bit of a venture. We had some sh- shit go down. And yeah, Tori's off the- offline again. Son of a bitch. But okay, this is not the dick cast. Or the sausage cast. Whatever. Uh, oh, she's back on. Never mind. Uh, last week we, have- we had a bit of an issue uh, as to why episode 7 was a little short. But you can catch all the info on my blog. I'm gonna post up on the on our new Facebook on our new Facebook page we officially have. So to wow. those of you out there, we have a Facebook page. We are legit. Hooray! Yay. But, yeah, but yes, we had challenges from last week. Who wants to start off their shit? Because I'm drinking my rum and coke. Did any of you guys read your origin stuff? I didn't do I- shit. Wrote my origin stuff. I wrote a small chapter. Simple man. Cool. Simpleton. Did you write yours? I had no time uh, today, but I'll probably write something tomorrow, and I'll I'll make a video just for that. All right. And um, and I'll right, draw. Th- and I'll and I'll I will draw him for you. Just to go on that notion. Um, I think what we should do for this particular challenge is we had to write an original story of our hero and do a dramatic reading. I think it'd be interesting if we put a recording of us reading these challenges separately and put them on the page so that everyone can have access to them. What do you all say? That's fine with me. Troy, is that okay with you? Yeah. Why not? Tori? Okay. Yeah, Tori, you have a bad, you have a shit connection, so you might be going on and off today. Yeah, so... If I go on and off, just like, just know I'll be back. Uh huh. Okay, so Sean's Sean's challenge is, is going to be put on a temp and a somewhat hiatus until everyone uploads. Same thing with Evans, who was to do a dramatic uh, hero voice or reading. Uh, those will be up on the on the Facebook page slash Tumblr slash YouTube slash wherever the fuck we decide to put it up on. Uh, Troy, what was your challenge? I told y'all to watch a fistful of rupees. Okay. Who wants to start off with their opinions on that? I did. I watched it. And? Okay. I think she's dead. Yeah, Tori's dead again. Sean. I like that. that we're incredible. Holy shit. I love it. The dead. I liked it. It was decent. Evan? 
Uh, what can I say, really? It's it's a mashup of Zelda and like a Western thing, which really they don't kind of blend together in the right places. But when you just take them as like basic characterization, it works more or less. I didn't really like it, but maybe this because maybe it's because only watched one episode, and not all not all three that were available on YouTube. So. I'll give it. I'll give it more of a shot. I'm. I'm probably gonna finish it up. I just didn't. I personally didn't think it blended that well, but you know that's probably me just being a critical asshole. Uh, who else had a challenge? Evan. No, oh, you already did your challenge. Fuck. Uh, Sean, do you want to speak on Colleen's behalf for her challenge? Um, uh, Colleen wanted us to watch The Legend of Neil. Who did that? Who did that? Troy. Nope. You fi- you f- you done fucked up. Evan, Not really. Did you watch it? I watched one episode. Tori. No, I picked the other Zelda challenge. Good. I picked the shorter of the two. Yeah, Colleen challenged us to watch a whole season. I watched an e- two episodes. It, it's it's funny. It's not the best series out there, but. If you're looking for like kind of like college college level humor, I guess. Yeah, that's that's how I would describe it. It's it's you kind of have to get the the jokes sometime because it is a game. It, I mean, not a game. It is a show that is heavily involved with you know Zelda and shit. So you kind of have to know a lot of the stuff in it to kind of get the jokes. Alrighty, Tori. What was your abomination of a challenge? I told you guys to play Elsa Gives Birth. And I know Evan did it because Evan posted a Let's Play video of it. Evan, and it was spectacular. Evan, since, <clears throat> Evan, since you were so courage, c- courageous to do this, talk about it. Let us know. Well, uh, basically, it's a really, really shitty Flash game. Of Elsa, who comes from a magical time where, you know, I would say fairly, fairly medieval-esque land. So why the fuck does she have, you know, a toothbrush and an overnight bag and modern pajamas and dumb shit like that? And apparently, according to... Because Disney, that's why. Well... Yeah, and apparently, apparently, babies don't come out of the woman's vagina. They just come out of a bubble that's on like on the side, <laughs> and and uh, apparently, like if a baby cries one time, just shove a needle, you know, just shove a needle up his ass, and then pull it out, and he'll shut the fuck up right quick. <laughs> so let's be a list. But let that be a lesson to all you 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 new parents out there. But yeah, it's a shitty game. I I'm just glad it was a really really short game, and that I can I put it up there for everyone's enjoyment. So you know, if you honestly liked me playing a shitty game, good for you. Uh, just to follow up on that, Tori, there are reasons why I don't let you do a lot of things. This is one of them. Just quit your shit. Quit your shit. Fine, I will try to quit my shit. But my shit is my thing, so... No, you gotta quit your shit. Okay, Troy, did you do this game? Of course I didn't. I'm not touching Frozen with a 16-foot pole. Good for you, I'm proud of you. Sean. Hey, fucking understand. No. No, I did not do that. I fucking watched Justice League Unlimited instead. I watched the Booster Gold episode. <clears throat> I was happy. I was fucking happy. And I'm, assuming, and I'm assuming Colleen didn't do it either. No, Colleen probably did not do it. Good for her. So pretty much two of us were idiots, and and three of y'all were smart. I've Good already done, I, I've done my contribution like, to Frozen, and that was the Joker video, and that's it. Good for you. 
anything else would be a live action version of that, and that's it. All right. And I had a challenge. And I had a challenge for y'all. And Tori's off again. We're gonna keep everyone who, who everyone who's listening. Just keep tally of how many times Tori goes off on the chat. Just and whoever gives me an accurate number gets a cookie. Uh, I gave y'all a challenge, which was to watch Knights of the Zodiac. Who actually did that? Troy, you sent me. Did a my video, video count? <sighs> you never. You never I, gave me an answer. As much as I say, as much as I want to say no, it was pretty funny. So I'll give you. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a pass. See, if you if you had told me that it didn't count, then I probably would have watched an episode, but you didn't, so I'll I took you, it as a yes. I'll give you credit. <laughs> it, it pissed. It made me laugh, and it kind of pissed me off. But I'll give you credit where credit is due. You tried. Well, I didn't hear a no. You tried. Uh, yeah, I did it. I watched an episode of it like six years ago, but I did it. That doesn't count. I fucking did it. But the challenge was to watch it like, like recently. Hashtag Ronin Warriors is better. I mean, what? Yes, yes it is. Fuck you guys. I'm sorry, John, but fuck you. Ronin Warriors is the fucking shit. The same thing with Tori's uh, Frozen challenge. I I don't watch things that give me pain and anger, and that is one. But, pain it's, and anger. but it's so good. Okay, we won't, we won't go into that argument. Uh, Evan, you didn't watch it, right? No. Okay. Because Ronin Warriors is better. Fuck you. Yes, exactly. Ronin Warriors is better. And Tori, you watched an episode. I two. watched one episode, and I liked it. I forgot how much I did enjoy that late 80s, early 90s kind of anime style. Ugh, oh, nostalgia. Guys, I can honestly say we were really unproductive this last this past week. We we were we were fucked. But yeah, alas, that is the tale yeah. of our that is the tale of our. That's how the whip podcast goes. Yep, we ultimately accomplished jack shit. Right, guys. Right, guys. Right. Okay, so to everyone listening out there again, we're gonna do a new dynamic. We know that six challenges is a lot of shit to keep track of, so we're gonna cut this in half. Every week, every week from now on, three of us will, come, will state a challenge, and everyone has to do them, regardless. Everyone cool with that? Everyone's cool with that. And if I don't? Troy, you don't even do jack shit half the time, so... I can't reason, I can't reason with madness. But it's sure fun to try. Okay. So, Sean... I know you got a challenge. You told me about it in the pregame chat. What is your challenge? Told you about it. I showed you clips of it. Well, you, you, whatever. Fuck. I, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready on a good buzz right now. So let's not ruin it. Okay. Fair enough. Well, since I was led to believe we're doing stuff with movies this week, I want you guys to watch a very special film. And when I mean special, as in, you have probably never seen anything like it. I want you guys to go watch Richard Elfman's The Forbidden Zone. Why does that sound familiar? Richard Elfman? Richard Elfman is the brother to Danny Elfman, who is the famous ah. composer and was also the frontman of Michael Boingo. Is Dan in the movie? He is. Wait, but is he in your seat? I'm looking at images of this movie and I'm scared. I think you're supposed to be scared. I think I'm supposed to be very scared, but maybe that's the alcohol talking. Oh. Okay. I'm game. We're gonna work it. I'll watch this shit. Evan, what is your challenge for the week? Sweet. Evan? Uh, I would say I want you guys. Guess what? No, no, go what? ahead. We're waiting for you to. Hello? Just... Hello? Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I want you guys to watch a Ralph Bakshi, uh, Bakshi uh, cartoon film. Ooh, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Uh, who you will that? have Ralph Bakshi. Can you give me, which one? Can you give me some source material? Because I have no idea what that is. Yeah. He's a famous uh, animator. He made, Anna, he, he's, he's a, a famous animator. He knows. Risky, not for kids, animated films in the 70s and 80s. Yes, yes, yes. Never heard of them. Now, so which one are we watching? Now, I could give you guys cool ones, like, you know, Fritz the Cat. Cool world? Yeah. You're going to watch Cool World. And you can't make fun of it. You have, you have to watch it legitimately. You cannot make fun of I've it. I've seen Cool World. Cool World, you, you have, said? Yes, Cool World. Okay. I'm game for this, too. The movie Sorry. about fucking cartoon characters. Yep, Cool World. Okay, guys. Yep, Kim Bassinger and little Brad Pitt. Well, not little, little, but very young. Okay, guys, so I've thought long and hard, so I'm going to give you guys an op two choices. Do you want to read an online webcomic, or do you want to watch something that's near and dear to my heart? Give me the webcomic, dude. Okay, that's one foot webcomic. Guys, what do you say? Movie, 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 movie. I'm fine with the movie, honestly. Okay. okay. Sean, uh, uh, Troy, you can break this. Movie or comic? I don't care. You gotta choose. Flip a coin, I don't care. Oh, fuck you. Okay, fuck it, we're doing the I movie. Won't anyway. We're doing the movie. I'm sorry, Tori. Blame Troy. Okay, guys. Um, since I love Neil Patrick Harris, I want y'all to watch Harold and Kumar. Any oh, movie? dude, I, I own those on Blu-ray. <laughs> Which any one? Movie, any movie that has Neil Patrick Harris in it. Hint, then I'll then I'll watch hint, the, hint, hint, hint. Then I'll watch the I'll watch the third one then. Is that the Hell the Kumar uh, Christmas special? Yes. Oh god, that oh was the god. worst one. I haven't seen it. But yes. You mean, you mean the best one? No, it was pretty bad. Even for a Hell the Kumar movie. But yes, um watch something watch a Hell the Kumar movie. And yeah, watch it, because it's good. I love the show. All right, I, I can love, do I love that. The movies. It was either that or Doctor Horrible Sing Along Vlog, but that's not. That's uh, an everyday I'll thing. Yeah, that. Almost. That's not really a challenge. That's more like a a reward. So, yeah, that's the thing. And for the community out there, I have one good question for y'all. This episode, everyone can answer this out there. Favorite movie and why? Yes, so, leave so, your answers in the comments. Or on the Facebook page. Just give me, give me your favorite movie and why. But I swear to God, if anyone pr puts Prometheus, you are banned off the... You're banned from this fucking podcast channel page shit. I am drunk. Ish. Hey, John. Just, I'm drunk with power. John. Yeah. Did you go to Dr. Horrible at MizumiCon? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, after um, midnight. I have, I have my things against it, but we'll talk about that later on the podcast. What, what, what are we at? Uh, okay, so should we just dip it? Should we just dip into MizumiCon now, Troy, or do you want to just start with something else? Hold on, just uh, a little bit. Just Evan for ask a minute everybody there. Everybody else, we're kind of outvoted. Mm -hmm. Evan for a minute there. I thought you were gonna make us watch Coonskin. No, I love Coonskin. I love Coonskin too. But I, Coonskin is great. Racist. It's it's well, it's, it's a black supposed black. to be. It's, it's supposed hysterical. to be, but it's. Really, it's brilliant though. It's brilliant. It's brilliant, and it it's like perfect, you know, black exploitation film. Perfect animation. Oh, I should have had you. I should have had you Shaft. I like Shaft. I love, <laughs> yeah, I bet you do love Shaft. I I'm not afraid to say it. I don't give a fuck. You know, actually, as far as Coonskin goes, like, I was going to dare my friend to cosplay as Miss America from Coonskin. Honestly, I don't see why people don't, because, I mean, 
she's she's a horrible character, but you have to admit she's pretty cool at being a horrible character. She is. I just it's so crazy how much of a crazy evil slut she is. In the shorts, she's in like three scenes, and in those scenes, she's horrible and she gets some guy killed. And it's it's just bizarre. Okay, we're done with our little coonskin. You, you done? Because I'm, 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 I'm just here chilling. Okay, uh, we're done. We're done. We'll save that for another time. Good, good, good. Okay, Troy. We, uh, we were both in MizumiCon. That was a treat. How was your experience? I True. feel there's a sarcastic tone to yours. I do have some sarcasm to it, but I think you had a better time. Let's start with the positives and then we'll go to the negatives. Mm, nah. Let's hear your side first. Okay, guys, we'll start with the negatives. Let's start with the the rain. The rain was bad. Oh, the rain was hilarious. Yeah, it made shit hard. Or more difficult to do. Because I like taking pictures of congoers. And everyone was having an umbrella in their hand, so I felt like a dick every time I wanted to take a picture. Because, you know, they have to put their umbrella down get their cosplay wet, and they put it back. It's, it's a pain in the ass. I felt bad. So I took no pictures, except for two pictures that I have of Troy and I, at which I was very drunk. Yeah, Troy, I was that drunk. I was drunk at that point. A, Troy, Troy, I was drunk at that point. What a shocker. What a shocker. It was pretty obvious. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It wasn't that bad. Was I that bad? Fuck. Not that bad, but still. I knew. Yay. I'm sorry if I was inappropriate. Not really. Tell them what you, you were wearing. Like care. Okay. Um, so, bad part of the con was it was raining, but, you know, the con has no control of that. Um, Homestuckers. That's always an issue. And then there was the one panel that ended all panels. Troy, did you hear of this panel? No, I spent most of it in the chapel auditorium. Good for you. There was a panel that was supposed to be a Hitali panel. If and no one knows who Hitali is, don't worry about it. Are you talking about the Homestuck? Uh, the, Italia, the three one? Homestuck Hitali My Little Pony panel. That was a disaster waiting to happen. What happened? Okay. How many? How many people died? Shh, 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 and how many people broke into the Tori, Tori, Shut up. This will require silence. This will require a lot of silence. So, to my understanding, it was supposed to be a My Little Pony meetup a Homestuck meetup, and a Hitalia panel. Three different thingies, th three different things. A.K.A. disaster waiting to happen. Three different things happening, you know, that no connection. Like Super Who Luck? <sighs> yeah. Then, there was one person who said, well, it's raining outside, why don't we combine all groups together in one giant clusterfuck of a panel? It is it. Um... At this point, I had no knowledge that it was combined into three clusterfuck panel. I was there as a as a Hitalia nation because I like Hitalia, kind of sorta. Um, they said, "Oh, hey, all all the nations are meeting up. Why don't you go?" And I go, "Okay, well, it'd be great to meet the people because apparently, in San Antonio, I'm some sort of celebrity amongst the Hitalia people. I don't know why. Maybe because I did a con and won a contest as a nation and became friends with every nation there." While I was drunk. Yeah, and that circle is that circle is kind of tight. I know. I've been in it, and like, once they know you, they know you. Yeah, everybody, everybody knew who I was as Estonia. Well, I go to this panel thinking it's a Hitalia panel, but then I notice something pretty off. I see Homestuck to the right, to the left, My Little Pony in the middle, and Hitalia to the to the right. To the right. Does that sound right? Left, right, yeah, left, right, middle. And... Were they making... What? Were they what? Were they making out? No, it was it was kind of like... Homestucks. Like, every time I see Homestucks, they're making out in the halls and shit. No, I didn't see any of that, but I have more Homestuck story. Um, the panel was pretty awkward, because it was a dead... It was kind of a dead silence, or like more of a, of a calm silence. Everybody who knew everybody was talking to each other. No one was top intermingling between the between the, the fandoms. At this point, I realize what's going on, and I'm like, oh shit. I see 
homestuckers on oh see on the on the like the panelist board there's homestuckers, ponies, and Italians. But then pops up the clusterfuck, which was a troll, a pony, and a nation all put together. At that point, I, I literally told everybody, fuck you, I quit, and walk out the battle room. To which I feel guilty for later, and I return in my, in my other cosplay. And then, from what I hear, the panel ensued to being, who has the better dick, who has the bigger dick contest? That's Phantom. Like I said. That's Phantoms for you. No, not exactly Phantoms, it's more of a... Kids. Yep. yep. And adults that act like kids. Like I said, disaster waiting to happen. I am face palming right now. I if I away. am face palming. Far away. <laughs> disaster, no. Shitstorm, yes. Actually, shitstorm is the proper term for this. <laughs> so yeah, that was a thing. And then the other part of Azumi Con that I didn't like was getting chased into a bathroom. Oh. Yeah, I told you guys this already, but Troy, did I tell you the story? Oh. Wait, what? That I got chased into a bathroom. You got chased into a bathroom? No, he wasn't there. No, he was there. Troy was there for the con. No, no, no. I mean, he wasn't on the chat where you told us. Oh, yeah, okay. you, were, you weren't here because you were busy doing Troy shit. Yes. Yeah. Um, at MizumiCon, when I was cosplaying Daymax, and, you know, apparently I was fucking adorable, so that's kind of, uh, like that's minus to me, because I'm fucking manly, but, you know, whatever. Um, I got followed into a bathroom by a young lady, who I'm assuming was 18, because she didn't look, she did not look that young. Um, she wanted a hug. And, <clears throat> me being in my, cos my cosplay as Baymax... I would have said yes, except I had to go pee. So I told this young lady, most definitely I will give you a hug, but let me go pee first. So I go to the bathroom, undo the kikaroo me, which takes me about five minutes, do my business, which is like another three minutes, put my kikaroo me on, which is another five minutes, wash my hands, get all get all fixed up and shit, and go out the door. And in that time that, sh that I spent in the bathroom, she was out the side waiting in the door for me. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Sean says it's wife material. I say no. I didn't say anything about wife material. Bullshit, you did? You said if she was 18 and waiting for you, that's wife material. Buddy, be happy. You get attention from legal standards. I don't want that type of attention. Oh, you want attention from illegal standards? No, no, God, okay. You fuckers don't take it out of context. Uh, what I'm saying is, I don't want a girl waiting outside the bathroom door, waiting for a hug for me. That's crazy. Yo, because you... What? It's not like she was singing, I will wait, right outside the bathroom. Actually, I, if she I was, could, that would have been hilarious. You know what? If she, I could see that happening because she had that. She you know who she was cosplaying as. She was cosplaying as Gasa Yuno. Who? Oh my god! Future uh, future oh my god! You should have said that first. She was cosplaying Future Diaries. The, the, you should have said that before the, anything the pink else. Hair, the pink hair chick. No idea. Watch I future, know her. She's watch, a crazy watch, girl. Watch Future Diaries. It, it never makes, even it, heard of it. Watch, yeah. Okay, it's also called Mirai Nikki. Your diary is really good. It's called Mirai Nikki. Just watch it. It'll make a lot more sense, and it'll have more context as to why I was creeped out. But yeah, I got chased into a bathroom by a girl. Also, uh... Was she waiting up any, there like, any, Yuki? Anybody out there who is an artist, if you guys would love to draw, it, I, it would be really awesome if we could see a picture of this Gus Iuno chasing after a drunk Baymax. Oh, I, wasn't drunk that would... that I wasn't drunk at that point. I was still sober. So fuck you. And then no, he got drunk no. after that. Of course he wasn't drunk at this point. It was the experience that drove him to drink. It, actually, Sean, you're not far off because after getting chased, after getting chased, after getting chased into a bathroom and getting a hug from this girl who then proceeded throughout the rest of the con to ask for hugs, yeah, I drank. I drank pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hello, Baymax. Hello, I am Baymax, your personal drunk care companion. 
That yeah. would actually be really helpful. But a droid is a wonderful thing. I'll have you know. What'd you say? Schadenfreude is a wonderful thing. I'll have you know. Good for you. Troy, tell us about your con experience. Um, well, it was definitely better energy than GatoCon was. It wasn't a total letdown or anything like that. Um, I went there. Originally, I was planning to go as just a regular person. Until uh, I got a very particular message because at first I was like okay I'm just going to go as myself because I don't have any responsibilities for this one unlike the past five years <laughs> I get a message hey one of the other judges got sick you think you could fill in and I go sure yeah why not um so I do that right getting to the con we didn't get there till maybe like 12 or 1 because the rain was so bad on the highway that we were literally driving at like 35 miles per hour. Was there no visibility up there? Yeah, it got that bad. It was, uh, it was like that Friday. Yeah, it was it was pretty intense. Um, the coolest thing though was when this 18-wheeler drove by. It was an orange 18-wheeler and on like the front cab I noticed the Ghost Rider bike and I was like, hey, that looks like Ghost Rider. Like that reminds me of his bike. And then he gets a little closer, and I see his door, and it's straight up like Ghost Rider with the flaming hair and the chain and all that. I'm like, dude, that's that's fucking cool. That's really but, awesome. Um, I get to the con, I go into the bathroom, I start doing my Joker makeup. Uh, it takes me about an hour compared to normal because the makeup, I used a, a latex acrylic mix, and it started peeling before I could put it on or I was putting it on so, was, so I'm like fuck this doesn't this looks really pasty and ugly so I'm like okay well whatever I got a little bit of purple so I started putting in purple into all those cracks and grooves and nastiness to make me look like Arkham City Joker um the rains unfortunately I had much time doing my makeup I ended up missing the panel that I wanted to go to which was a voice acting panel there were three voice acting panels. There was the one by the people who knew what they were talking about. I missed it. I was I was upset. The whole reason why I went was because I was looking for information. And, and uh, after that, I, I arrived late at the second voice acting panel, which is this like newbie, just complete total newbie, who happened to get a lucky lucky hit in. Uh, Funimation, and I'm just there, and he's he's giving his advice, and I'm just like, okay, 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 alrighty, alrighty, whatever, cool, cool. Which are, little uh, little which tips, ba basic tips. What? Was it like one of the major actors? Because I know there was a uh, the the couple. But was, I'm trying to remember who else. Who else was it? Or would you not rather not disclose? I'm not going to disclose, but there were three voice actors. It's pretty easy to tell who's the newbie. I only remember there being two, but okay. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> ah, okay. I, I, I get you. I get you. <laughs> I'm not going to give out any disrespect, but if you didn't stand out, then you know who you are. <laughs> okay, I get you. I'm sorry. Okay, so... panel after that is the couple it's it's all the voice actors and the couple are giving some really good information and i'm like all right awesome awesome and the more i'm sitting there and listening to the couple's stories and all that i'm just sitting there and i'm like man you know i feel i could totally fit in with the voice acting world because literally everything that they're saying is something i've either experienced or I want to experience something that I want to do, something that I've practiced in, all that stuff. And this other guy is just there. And, you know, there's basic questions like, what's your favorite thing about voice acting? What's what's your worst booth experience? What's your favorite role? And his answer is, oh, I've only had one role. Oh, I've only had one role. I've only had one role. 
I've only had one role. Uh, they go, what's your your least favorite voice? He goes, well, you know, they the couple goes, anything that kills my voice. And he goes, yeah, you know, sometimes when I do the voice for the one role that I ever got, it would just destroy my voice sometimes because it's really breathy. And I'm just like, really? Like, really? R- really? In other words, he should have just shut up, right? Yeah, like... I mean, this guy, this dude, this guy went so far as to diss Charlie Chaplin. The fuck? What? Oh, yeah, he, dude, uh, dude, he straight up dissed oh. Charlie Chaplin. Like, he made it a point that, um, like, this was the thing that just straight up, like, was the final nail on the coffin, was when he was all like, yeah, you know, it's very important that you have a good voice, because just look at a great actor like Charlie Chaplin. Amazing actor, absolutely talented, but his voice killed his career. And it's like, uh, excuse oh, me? Shit. What little dictator? You know nothing Don't about like Charlie Chaplin. Never. Charlie Chaplin's voice had literally nothing to do with his career. His first spoken role is one of the most greatest roles the best out there. The great ever. dictator. Pretty much. That yeah. is a huge, oh. iconic thing. Charlie Chaplin never killed his acting career. He left the U.S., which made him not so popular in the U.S. because he was making more political movies and wasn't doing anything based off of his title character, The Tramp. He he started doing things different. But oh he never lost popularity. He was still winning awards. Ooh. Oh, okay. That gets my but, blood boiling. But... Aside from that, this guy, his every answer was like, I've only had one role, this, that. And then he'd be like fangirling over the the couple. And I'm just there like, I'm in their front row in Joker. And I'm just thinking to myself, I deserve to be in that seat a lot more than you do. How did you get a job? Exactly. Like, Oops, I'm just dude. there. And Too I'm like, suck. I, because, because literally, literally every question that was asked he'd give those same answers. And I, I had a very, I, I had answers to those questions and I'm not even in the industry. Doesn't that suck that like, you in fact, most, much- most of my answers would have been similar to the couple. That. So just as I see this guy who's had one role in a random basically this guy just got typecasted he got lucky and i'm sure i'm probably going to get a lot of flack for this whenever people who are fans of the series or whatever you know go and look this up and find out who this guy is because i'm sure you know people they like to they like to look into things so you know this this could be a negative thing for me but you know what this this guy this guy didn't know what the fuck he was doing like for, no. for for someone who's got his degree and all that, like, you don't he don't know nothing. Hey Troy, I have a question for you. Yes. When you enter a cosplay contest and you win, do you expect a trophy or a certificate? Funny story, I actually don't enter cosplay contests. Well, it, let's say hypothetically, you enter one, and say you win. Do you expect a trophy or certificate? Not particularly, no. Why? I hate it when people complain that they do not get anything to recognize their victory, but received a prize, mind you. But say, hey, we were really upset you didn't give a certificate, so we made our own. But next time, guys, make some certificates. If not, we can make them. I'm just That's... saying, check out the MizumiCon page. I won't point names out to who. But I'm a little disappointed in how people could be, given that they want a co- given that they want an aspect of the contest, or given a prize, and they're complaining about not getting certificates or a trophy. Okay, well, hold on. Let me let me let me let me let me interject for a moment because, uh, like I said, I've I've been doing the cosplay judging at MizumiCon for the past five years. Mm-hmm. That this makes six. Um, last year there were people who didn't win who decided they were going to throw a huge fit. Um, I remember there was a big controversial thing where they were throwing a fit because they were mad that Monster Hunter cosplayers had won because the previous year Monster Hunter cosplayers had won again. 
they were like, oh, wait a sandbag and have the same people win again when in reality the people who won the year before weren't the same people who won last year. Um, they were completely different people with completely different costumes, completely different levels of build. Like, they were entirely different. There was nothing about them that was similar. But regardless, they were very good cosplays. They were. Exactly. They were amazing. There's no doubt about that. But the point is, they're. what I'm saying is that they're completely different. They just happen to be from the same game. All the way down to color, design, everything about them was completely different. There was nothing similar, and they were not the same people. It was a whole new costume with completely different people. Yet people were complaining. People are sore winners. People are people are getting to that point where they just want that recognition. For some reason, they want, oh, yeah, I won this cons- cosplay contest. I want a trophy. I want, I want to be the next cosplay famous person. It's like I said, I don't enter cosplay contests. I've never entered a cosplay contest. Um, the irony of me judging is the fact that I've never been in a cosplay contest. I went straight to judging. That's how good, good people saw me, is they went, hey, I like your stuff. I want you to be a judge. Let me let me give you guys a, a, a thing. Uh, Troy and I, we kind of go a little bit ways back, maybe about like two or three years. Um, Troy is so good at what he does that it's very noticeable when people try to rip him off. <laughs> and it's funny when they do. Uh, I won't say any names, but the, the, the guys who do it are just fucking adorable. Freaking, freaking Levi. Levi's in the background just nodding and laughing right now about what you're saying but um because <laughs> he he knows but um all right so john said that we need to speed it up uh i'll go ahead and say final note um yeah i may not enter cosplay contests and all that um i'm very knowledgeable i'm very knowledgeable i'm constantly researching so i know a lot of things i'm the kind of person who you ask me a question about something I'll give you a book telling you step by step how to do it. Even if I haven't done it already, because I don't have the money to do it, I can tell you I have answers. Um, just back to the whole, the acting, the, the, the voice acting panel. When it came to that, I just, because God Ocon, I, I also did a panel uh, about acting and people were asking me questions, which were very similar. And I had an answer to every single one of them. That's just the kind of person I am. I'm a, I'm a, I'm the kind of person who gets answers and gives answers. I like to do my research. Yeah, just a little thing about cosplay contests. I enter them. I don't enter them as like the super competitive. I made this really big costume and I'm trying to win an award. Cosplay contests can be really fun, especially if you're not anal about them. Just just go in their costume that you have. It's fun to just have even 30 seconds in front of a crowd, and then you're gone. And it's especially fun if you do a stupid skit. That kind of stuff, that's what makes it great. So, yeah, you don't have to be so serious about it. There's a lot of people who are really serious about it, and it's it's really... I don't know, disheartening, annoying. Um, yeah, it, it takes away from the true spirit. And yeah. uh, I mean, because I let me put things into perspective here. Um, as I was saying, where I'm very knowledgeable, even though I may not have sometimes I won't have the skills to do something, but or maybe I haven't done it yet. Say, for example, you come up to me with a full-on Iron Man costume with servos and all that. I can tell you exactly how you did it, even though I haven't done it myself. Um, MizumiCon, every costume that came in to the contest was really good. I enjoyed every single one of them. It, it was really hard to choose just a single person for each judging role, so I had to award things like creativity or the way that you act. Those were the kind of things that won awards was living and breathing that character um i even made it a point 
when we were announcing who we were, everybody else was like, I'm so-and-so, cosplay model, or cosplay maker, commissioner, blah, 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 all that. I went up there and I said, well, first off, I couldn't say my real name, Troy D. R. Swooper. So I was like, okay, I'm Troy D. I can't say my last name because family friendly. So I'm going to say, Troy D. Troy D. Cosplayer. That's who I am. That's who I am. And uh, I'm a costumed actor. That's what I am. I run around. I, I do costumes. And I'm in Joker. And then I do, I do the Joker voice. I go, I do the voices. That's what I do. People started clapping. It was weird, but really cool. But um, that that was the thing that I I did. I wasn't like I don't I don't try to pretend like I'm something big. I mean I know that I may sound confident when it comes to the whole acting thing, but it's something that I practice every day that I do. I don't I've never cared about being number one when it comes to cosplay, though there are times when I'm like okay I need to get attention for doing this or that because it's that's just smart business. But um, at the end of the day. I'm an actor in costume. That's what I do. That's what you do. Okay, so what kind of news do we have, guys? Quick question, Troy. Yes. Baymax costume. Did it drunk? Good or bad? I liked it. In fact, uh, when you told me that you made it and I was looking at the seams, it was really awesome. Remember, I did it drunk. It's surprising I, I, I pulled that off. Dude, you had like really straight sewing lines and shit. Yeah. Well, in the movie, Baymax is, like, sort of drunk, air quotes on the drunk, when he's has a low battery, so... Yeah, but that wasn't me. I was just I was just John drunk, but let's not talk about that. Okay, we have news. Evan, you've been quiet, so you got to share your news first. Well, uh, I have two things of news, primarily. Uh, uh, for uh, wrestling stuff, uh, Brock Lesnar has said that he's going to stay with the WWE and that he's probably not going to go back to MMA for a good while if at all again yeah again but the thing is is that's I honestly don't like Brock now I kind of liked him when he came when he started because he actually kind of seemed like a very aggressive uh, wrestler when he came out but then he moved to you know MMA and then he did stuff there, and so it's like now they're just trying to grab for anybody to try and get some kind of power vacuum going on because they know like like the WWE knows that they don't have talent anymore because all they want is they want to push Cena so much they want to push all these other guys but they can't because now they don't have any other wrestlers that are quote unquote good. CM Punk is one of those last few though. Yeah, but he's going to do MMA stuff and I think he's probably going to do MMA stuff for a while. That's fine. That That's perfectly fine. Yeah, that's fine. The, the other thing I wanted to talk about is it's the dead rising movie. Uh, Who's making it? It's by Crackle. Yeah. What's well, gonna, sure. gonna be shown on Crackle? Is it that's the P, that's the PS Network exclusive channel? It doesn't look half bad. It's just like I don't know. I have mixed reviews about it. Like it looks bad, but it's, it it looks like it'll be decent. But who's making it? That's the question. Because uh, I know they they did a Dead Rising movie before that was made by KJ and Afune. And it was pretty good? good, but it was also really cheesy. Uh, director Zep Lipovsky? I don't know who that is. He is a Canadian director. No, he hasn't done that much. He doesn't look, he, no, he doesn't look like he's done anything, anything notable. Uh, he did Leprechaun Origins, Tasmanian Devil. No... I think he did. Z you know what he did? He did Xenon. Wait. Wait, what? The sequel? Like the Disney movies? The Z Disney movies? No, he did Xenon. Girl of the Twenty. Well, hold on. Let me check the credibility. The Disney movies. The Disney. No, yeah. I those fucking Disney movies no, of that no, one no, chick no. who's oh gone. So oh my god. Oh I'm boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He did not do the movie. I think he he may have helped out or or started it. What he was he was in it. 
I don't know. I'm drunk. I'm trying to check my shit out. I don't know. Give me, cut me some freaking slack. You guys have computers. Do I, I gotta know about this freaking. I used to watch those a yeah, lot. You used to masturbate to them too. Oh, I said a bad word. Oh well. I did not. Jeez, there wasn't anyone cute in those movies. Except never mind. Yeah, he has some. There's he has something affiliated with the movie. That's all I know. I don't know what. But yes, he did. Aside from that, nothing notable. Then but, it's probably not going to be all that good. Well, I mean, uh, if you have a movie like Leprechaun Origins attached to your name, n no. Uh, no. So it's probably going to be really cheesy. Well, he has Rob... Okay, if you want to know about the amount of cheese, he has Rob Riggle in it, so... Who's that? The guy from The Daily Show? Yeah. Okay. Which guy from The Daily Show? Rob Riggle. Are you guys kidding me? I don't know who that is. I know. Oh which, which one is that? Oh my god, you guys are such... Everybody out there, just on Twitter, just put Tori, Tori and Troy, you guys fucked up. Just hashtag you guys fucked up. I don't watch TV. But he's come out in so many movies. He's come out in the fucking Hangover, too. Who uh, was he? He was one of the cops that tased, some, that tased him. Look, I put a link on the chat. If you don't know who that is, holy shit. He came out of 21 Jump Street, and he was in Let's Be Cops. Oh, okay. You should have oh, okay. been, like more specific and like, okay, okay. That's, that's that guy from thing. Step Brothers who said, I didn't have a face to the name, or I didn't have a name to the face. And I would have so known exactly who you're talking about. Shame on you guys. Shame on you guys. Okay, yeah, but he's in the... If we're gonna talk like, about that's cheesy, simple. If we're going to talk about cheesiness, yeah, he's pretty cheesy, so... And he's supposed to be oh. Frank West. Wait, what? Yeah, he's supposed to be Frank West. I'm sold. I want to see it now. I can see how he plays Frank West, but we're supposed to have, we're supposed to have other characters in the movie, so... I'm sold. I want to see it. Okay. That guy, Frank West? Yes. I'm sold. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm good for it. I'm good for it. Let's see how it goes. I'm a little curious, but... I don't know. I mean, I'm excited to have him play Frank West, but at the same time, everyone else looks really shitty. I think the funniest thing is is that at the end of the film, the the director he's gonna he's gonna look at the audience and pull off his mask and is gonna be Uwe Ball. Oh, uh, no. oh yes. my god! Yes. No. Yes. yes, it will be Uwe Ball, no, and it, he'll he'll have he'll have his shit eating grin face, and then he'll look at the camera and he'll say, "Gotcha." You know, Evan, there, there's reasons why I don't like you. That's one of them. I don't like you either, so I don't give a fuck. Good. What are you okay. gonna do? Come. What are you gonna do? Come fight me, bitch. Yeah, I'll fight you, Peter Piper. IRL. All right, motherfucker. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, Sean, since you had news too, tell us of your news. Hmm. Hmm. Well, boys and girls, welcome to the what the fuck corner of the you know, the podcast, where uh, apparently I stumble upon shit that I didn't know existed. Such as this news story that I ended up learning about. Allow me to paint you a picture. Say you have a crush on somebody. You don't have to say anything, you don't have to name names, and you really don't have to post a story on Facebook. But, uh, how would you imagine going about trying to get this person's attention? You write a letter, maybe send her chocolates, um, just randomly send roses to her house every day well this one employee decided he was going to take it a bit further and do something a little bit more intimate oh so for the next six months this man jacked off into his crush's cup of coffee Oh, God! Oh, my goodness. For six months, this woman drank coffee with a special blend of cream. Yeah. Oh, my God! <laughs> I guess you could... I guess you could... 
I guess you could say she. Can that be an assault, John? There's there's more. There's more. But I have to make this joke. I'm so sorry. Excuse me, I'm dying. I'm sorry, sorry, but I have to make this bad joke. I guess you could say she had a Fappuccino. That was actually the. Yeah. Yeah, that was the news article. Oh, God. Okay. uh, Hmm. I wonder why my. I wonder why my coffee tastes so salty. I, that's a good question. How the oh. fuck did she react to it being anything more fucking salty? That jeez, oh, when you take your coffee and something tastes wrong about it, the first thing that you think is not, gee, I wonder if there's cum in it. Well, Atori, but I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know about uh, your coffee breaks, but John, on the other hand, he's dealt with this before. He has firsthand experience with this. What? What do you mean? And here's the thing. Wait, here's wait, 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 wait. Here's the fucking kicker. What this man did apparently did not qualify as sexual assault. Are you Ow. fucking kidding me? That is kind of horrible. Here's why what this does not qualify as sexual assault. Is it because it's technically healthy for women? Because that's super fucked up. No, because it's fucking Minnesota, for one. And two, apparently this man's conduct didn't qualify as such. Because apparently there's a loophole in Minnesota law that doesn't consider this type of behavior a sex crime. That's disgusting. Yeah, but, but technically shouldn't it count as sexual harassment either way? No, no, he was charged with sexual assault. But... Uh, they kind of threw it out because apparently there is a legal loophole because apparently it's not like he came on the person he came in a person's cup of coffee which by the way any any sort of sex crime is just horrible and yeah it's icky it's horrible it's something you shouldn't fucking do but keep in mind for six months this woman drank this woman drank a special blend of dark roasted nut coffee. <laughs> Emphasis oh, on the nut. God. god. Oh god. <coughs> you three killing me. There should at least be some sort of fucking restitution for this woman. At least a, an apology note saying, "I'm sorry I jacked off in your coffee for six months. Please accept my sincerest apologies. Here's a gift card to Amazon." And she more coffee. For a lifetime, a lifetime supply of coffee. No, 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 no. She no, should no, throw give, that coffee in his face. Give, give her a certificate to Starbucks. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if this woman no longer wants to drink coffee because from then on out, that that takes that fear of like pissing off a fast food worker and and knowing the fear that he's gonna fucking spit in your burger. That like takes that fear up to like another notch. It's a Cards Against Humanity card. Salty surprise. Exactly. So, um, yeah. Going back, going to Evan really quick. Evan, what the fuck do you mean I know about that? Uh, He's saying you suck dick, dude. Come on. Get with the times. Yes, pretty much. No, oh. is it, I, do so- have a, I do have a story pertaining to salty coffee, but I was like, how, how do you know about that story? Okay. I, I, I Honestly, I pulled that out of my ass because... Well, again, anyway. It's like never mind. mind. Yes, yeah, like my cock. Never mind. Never finish up, mind. Uh, to finish up part of um, Sean's What the Fuck News Corner, um, we're just going to cover the sort of state laws that I've covered in the past whenever I've talked about this sort of stuff. Um, apparently, incest is legal in New Jersey, and masturbating in somebody's coffee is legal in Minnesota. So maybe those are two places you never want to visit. This kind of loophole just reminds me of that one freaking thing where it was all like, oh... Well, the lady di- can't prove that she didn't want to be set on fire because she was in the apartment. Yeah, exactly. It's something along those lines. Bullshit. Well, the thing is, is who wants to go to Minnesota and New Jersey? Or just don't don't go to the parts of Minnesota or parts of New Jersey. Don't drink that the coffee. Stable. Just don't drink the coffee in Minnesota, for the love of fucking God, folks. And don't try to find a date in New Jersey. It might be your relative. Yep. Yep. Okay. 
So um, I'm passing off the news torch to somebody else before this gets a little bit more weird. Uh, Troy, do you have any? Do you have any news or not really? Uh, no. Okay, I have news. Uh, so, who remembers Twitch plays Pokemon? I do. Yes. Reddit. What? Reddit. Reddit. Okay. Reddit does. Long story short, in the city of, I'm gonna pronounce his name horribly, Hergada or Hugada, some 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 fucking place in Egypt. In Agada Vida. No. In the Gada de Vida, honey. Um, there is a there is a market or bazaar called the Clay Patch Bazaar, in which it features a very authentic piece of work that displays Twitch Plus Pokemon art prominently in one of their windows. Now, it is upon belief that these people put it up thinking it was legit hieroglyphic art from Egypt. And it is upon realization now that they fucked up by putting Pokemon fan art. That's beautiful. It's now, Pokemon, not Yu-Gi-Oh. No, 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 no. It, it, it didn't occur to them until people started noticing the Helix Fossil, Lord Helix, Bird Jesus, and a million of other references to the infamous playthrough of Pokemon Red from last year. Now, I'm not... Oh, by the way, there are also memes to there about Jay Leno, the Ratata, and the all-terrain Venomoth on there. I don't know if Egypt fucked up, but if they did, Egypt, you fucked up. Big time. And if it's and if it's just contemporary arts, cool. I respect that. But if you try lying about it, I'll know. And I'll find you. And then you'll have to play a shadow game. <sighs> what else in news? We have uh, uh Bloodborne came out. It's pretty cool. I got it. Everyone I know people are bitching about it. Mike, I'm talking about you. Uh, it's okay. I only, I've only played an hour in. I really can't find any complaints. Uh, the Evil with is getting a second DLC. I don't know why. Uh, money. They ain't money. Uh, there is an anime inspired TIE Fighter short that is, uh, based on the TIE Fighter game. And it's really good. It's re it's very good. I just, I saw what we were doing the free game chat. Uh, X-Files is coming back to TV. For a limited series. Fuck it! Another 90s thing. Do, do, oh, we, we've been waiting. Do, well, do, I, I never do. saw. I, don't sing that song, I've been running in trouble. I never saw the series, so I never got into it, but apparently it's good, so awesome. Uh, da, 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 da. I have more news, I have more news. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Yeah. Oh! Uh, Super Troopers is having a is having a crowdsource for a GoFundMe to get the second movie started. About time. Well, I mean, it's been in the works, but we now we got to bring an official thing for Super Troopers, which I'm excited for because I love Super Troopers. Go. Oh, donate that shit, yo. Yes. Uh, what else? I saw something else. What was the news? Oh, this is something that's interesting. So. Who likes big conventions? Big conventions? Yes. I can tell. I'm, I'm scared of them, but go, go on. Well, there's a convention in Indiana that threatens, that threatens the governor it will leave the state over Indiana's controversial SB 101. Oh, you're talking about Gen Oh, I heard about that. Gen yeah. Gen Gen yeah. It is regarding... The, I haven't read, I haven't gone into extreme detail about the article because I just caught it. I just caught it a little while ago. I I know I know what I know but what it's, that. But it's over religious the... freedom and apparently it's kind of bullshitting. So the cons kind of pissed. So yeah. But at the same time, I I don't see why that be that would be an issue, or why that should pertain to the limitations of convention. So you because know because it said in the in the article. That that convention is usually what was pumping money into the economy over there for Indiana. Oh, no, no. And I get that. I completely get that. But my argument is, why 
you know, why would the statute have to, why, why would the statute affect the con completely? To the point well, where, to the point where it would like drive them to like quit. And you know what? I respect the con for setting their point, but I'm still a little confused as to why Indiana what well the governor's being stupid. Well, John, I think you answered your own question. I think I did, and I'm drunk. I'm officially drunk. I'm on board. I'm on five drinks, guys. Well, the, 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 now, now you guys have it, folks. You got it drunk. You got a drunk Napa. Woo! So oh. uh, you should do uh, do your uh, do your Napa voice while no, drunk. No, I can't do it. But yeah, from what I've read, the convention center increased capacity to more than half a million square feet of floor space, adding twenty. 200,000 square feet of floor space, and at least it costs up over 2275 million just to get this accommodation because it's such a big economy boost. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This brings a lot of money to them, and they're fucking it up. Yeah, man. So yeah, everyone going to Gen uh, GenCon, or who will go to GenCon, keep it in mind, it might not happen. All right, guys, unless anyone has any other news, let's jump into questions. Okay, I have just a little bit of news. God damn it, Tori. Okay, so Windows has announced that they are going to phase out Internet Explorer as a web browser, which to us, well, me who, well, yeah, I've been using Chrome for years, and before that I used Firefox for like a year. So this doesn't really affect me, but what I'm afraid of is how it's going to affect the old people who have never downloaded a new browser. Like my own parents, they're stuck with Internet Explorer. And so I'm just imagining the shit storm that's going to hit when old people think, oh no, the internet died. There is no more internet. It's gone. I the little icon went bye bye. I thought that with, I thought with most modern laptops they just installed the Chrome, or most computers they just installed Chrome or Firefox already. Yeah, most well, most computers do Chrome now. Yeah. Tell well, people to click the Chrome button. They're still going to be looking for the big blue E. No, I, I I disagree with that. I think at this point that if they understand if there's no E, the computer will just tell them, hey, it's access internet. Click Chrome. It'll be it's intuitive. Well, it looks like the big blue E just took a big blue fucking dirt nap. <laughs> Thank fucking God. Oh, my God. Uh, no longer will I have to worry about having to default my search engine. Or have to worry about anything with that stupid Internet Explorer. That's I pretty fantastic. I always use Firefox, so this was never a problem for me. Okay, guys, let's jump into questions. Um... Last week, when I, well, this past weekend when I was at MizumiCon, I took the almighty QB, which was a giant question box that I took questions for for the podcast. Um, apparently not everybody was paying attention, because I said, if you want to participate, put your name on there. Participate for what? That'll be, that'll be for later. So, I'm going through the questions that have no names. Uh, we have time for, like, four questions, so I'm going to go ahead and pull a few out. So you all can hear this. By the way, Troy, why'd you put penis land? What? Why'd you put penis land on my box? Because it was funny. And I put a dick in his mouth? Because it was funny. Good for you. You put a dick on the box. No, no, no. no, no. I wrote. Put, he put he had a section that said put it in his mouth. So I typed out it with dick. No, you, you, <laughs> didn't, you didn't type it out. <laughs> Whatever, it, it was a pen. Did you, did you really say put it in its mouth yes, on the I box? Did. Yes, I did. Well, then you were just asking for that. I wasn't, exactly. I wasn't asking for it. I'll suck it in. Oh, my God. Okay, Troy, everybody, here's the first question of the night. Box play is not consent, guys. That is true. <laughs> if a turtle went to prom and the room was dark, when will the train rev at X? Keep it in mind. Purple, these, keep it in mind. Live. Keep it in mind. These are convention questions, so be wary. Sean, what were you saying? <laughs> Purple, because aliens have landed on my roof. Tori. Okay, first Libra would happen, and then Scorpio, and then eventually you would get to a shark, a catfish, and some shrimp. 
Evan. Well, obviously, it'll get there when the turtle gets up on stage, pulls out his chainsaw guitar, and fights a giant laser-eyed space Godzilla that shits diamonds. And that is what will happen. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and rip that question up. Thank you for whoever, whoever wrote that question. Next question of the night. Oh, this is a statement. Boob. Boob? Boob. It's boob. It, it's literally the word boob with two hearts. Well then. Then, it sh- then it shouldn't it be boob? Boob heart. It's, it's, it's perky. Oh, it's boob. Like boobs. It's boob. Like boob. Like boob. Boob. Troy, say boob. Moving on. You asshole. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I get your question out of the box? I found I it. mean, you could. We'll save that for later. Oh, Evan, best pony. I think they were trying. Uh, to write, I think they were trying to write pony, but they put ponby. Uh yes, the ponby. Uh, I would have to say for the best ponby would be Bjornki P. For all the the Swedish all the Swedish fans out there, that's a uh, Bjornki P. Bjornki P. Yes, I Bianchi like, P. I like uh, Apple Jacques. No, it was Bon Bon Me Jacques. Bon Me Jacques. Parmesan. There we go. Troy, best pony. Murderfly. Hey, hey, hey! Stay out of my shed. Uh, I go with Robo. I go with the uh, Rainbow Swag. Yes, yes. Rush. Robo Swag. swag. Crush. Crush. Kill. Kill. Destroy. Troy. Swag. swag. Yes. Uh, let's see. So, best pawn V. Not going to even touch that one. Troy, we were idiots, by the way, when we got this question. What? It wasn't the... It, we read it wrong. We read it wrong big time. What? You because you're illiterate and me because I'm drunk. Which question? Major, we read Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time. No, it was Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. Oh, I thought you said Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time. No, it was or... I read it. Oh wait, never mind. We're not. We're that has a name on it. We're never. We're not touching that question. You didn't hear shit. Sorry. Dumbass. Fuck you. No. One of these things is not like, like the, the other. other. One of these things is gay. Oh. Uh. Oh. Troy. Yeah. All of the dicks. Just saying. Bitch as ninja. Puto Pinche Madre. Yeah, I don't know who wrote that. That's you, Troy. No, it's not. Okay, then it has to be Levi. What was Levi's? It's not his. He says it's not his either. Liar. <laughs> Levi, I know that's yours. It's not his. It's not mine. <laughs> You're laughing, Troy. Okay. I'm not laughing. That happened to be like your hat. Only you would write all of the dicks. No. Uh, that sounds more like a me thing, and I didn't even go to that convention. That also sounds like me, and I was not there. Somebody, apparently, they were channeling you. Oh, Troy. Yeah. What is a meme? What's a meme? And what is a meme? A thing invented by Hideo Kojima in Metal Gear Solid 2 that he doesn't sh- that uh, Monsoon doesn't shut about in, in uh, Metal Gear Rising that gained popularity over the internet between the two. Okay. That's right. I went there. What is a Troy guy? What is a Troy? What is a Troy? I mean, meme. What is a Troy? What is a Troy? Guys, what is a meme? What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets, but enough talk. What's in a meme? (laughs) A meme by any other name would still smell as sweet. Smell as sweet. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, uh, I, I would have to say we're memes sent here by the devil. No good, sir. They are on the level. Okay. We have time for two, one more, two more questions. Uh, how stupid do y'all want to get? Really Just stupid. One out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Where in the world is Carman San Diego? 
Car... Carman, San Diego. This person didn't write Carmen. This person wrote Carman, San Diego. Carman. Probably Japan. No, 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 that, no, no, no. That sounds like Carman, San Diego. No, no, they spelled it with a K, so it's like Carman, San Diego. Exactly, Japan. I, I don't think so. This sounds, Japan. This sounds like a fucking Digimon. Carman. I'm with Troy. I'm with Troy. It's Japan. It's yeah, Japan. Japan. Digi Carman. Digimon was made in Japan, so Japan. Okay, Evan. I would say it is uh, in Bolivia. Broca Santiago. Okay. I would say it's in Chile. Chile. I say up your ass whoever wrote this. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why? Why would you write that to piss me off? Because to piss you off. Oh, that's the best Troy, kind. Troy, was that you? What? Is that your question? No. I won't find your goddamn question. Uh, last question of the night, because we're already out of time. Uh, where were you? I had, I had you here. He got I'm, away. I'm literally just dropping questions right now. Uh, oh, this is relating to one of our podcasters, James. Guys, does James look like a butch lesbian? Kinda? I don't fucking know. Everybody look at his picture right now. And just answer with a yes or no. So, you know, 